the next problem is how many gra how many graphs on n label vertices exist which have at least n square minus 3n by 2 edges okay so you have to find the number of graphs that can exist on n labeled vertices and and those graphs that you are going to count should have at least n square minus 3n edges okay so let's and these are the options and one of these options is correct okay then this c is for choose okay the n square minus n by 2 choose n square minus 3n by 2 n square minus n by 2 c n square minus 3n by 2 this is the c from your combination class okay so let's let's start solving this problem and 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 let's think what we can do okay so where the first thing we are given is that there are n vertices okay the graph has n vertices okay and the maximum number of edges that can exist in this graph what is the maximum number of edges you can have in this graph okay so there are n vertices and the maximum number of edges that you can have in this graph is in the case when every vertex is connected to every other vertex okay so the maximum number of edges that you can possibly have is nc2 out of these n vertices you select a pair of vertices so from these n vertices you select two vertices and choose two or nc2 and the number of ways you can select two vertices will be given by this and then you have an edge between those pair of vertices but you can also say that this gives you the number of pair of vertices that you can have and then you can make an edge between all those pairs which will give you the maximum number of edges and this is n square minus n by 2 okay so that is the maximum number of edges you can have and this will be the case of kn the complete graph kn the graph on n vertices in which every vertex is connected with every other vertex that is the case when you have maximum number of edges in this graph okay so that is one point and we'll keep this in mind next what we want is out of these these graphs that you can have the it should have at least n square minus 3 and by 2 edges okay so you can say something about the graphs that you are going to draw how many edges it can have okay edges that you include in your graph you have to include how much minimum it should have at least n n square minus n square minus 3 n by 2 edges okay that's the minimum number of edges you can have okay and what is the max what is the maximum number of edges you can have you can include all those edges that are possible okay so this is the minimum number of edges that should be in your graph and this is the maximum number of edges that you can have in your graph so that's it so these are the edges uh, think about kn okay think about a complete graph and in that from that graph you have to include at least n square minus 3n by 2 edges and maximum you can include all the edges of the complete graph so these are the possibilities you can have for your graph that you are going to count so these are the edges you have to include okay what about excluding what about when you do this thing how many edges you exclude so let's talk about the edges that you exclude yeah that you don't include when you when you do this thing okay let's talk about that so suppose you have included all these edges uh, these 
at least you have to have at least n square minus 3 n by 2 edges suppose you have included these edges so what does this mean out of these total possible edges you have included these edges so how many you have excluded so that will be simple you just subtract this from the maximum number of edges you can have so that will be n square minus n by 2 minus n square minus 3 minus 3 n by 2 n this will give you n okay if you do this this n square gets cancelled and you will get 2 n by 2 n which will give you n so that is the number of edges you exclude when you include n square minus 3 n by 2 edges so that is n okay and and what happens when you include these many edges that means you include all the edges that are possible in kn so you are excluding zero edges okay so in this case it just gets reversed okay in this case this is the maximum number of edges that you can exclude and this is the minimum number of edges you can exclude i think you're getting this because it might get a little complicated if if you do it if you do it let's think about it okay once again so you have this graph and it should have at least these many edges okay and in on n labels the maximum edges possible are n square minus n by 2 which is the case of complete graph okay and then we are talking in this manner because we can either say that we have to include n square minus 3 n by 2 edges or we can also say that we have to exclude n edges from this okay you can say it either way from the complete graph you can include these many edges or you can exclude these many edges it means the same thing if you exclude these many edges whatever remains is your graph and if you include n square minus 3 n by 2 edges whatever you have selected that is your graph that's the only difference okay and this is the maximum case and from now on we'll only talk about this exclusion thing okay and let's talk about choosing edges okay since we have to count the edges so let's talk about in how many ways can you exclude edge edges okay so suppose you want to exclude k edges so exclude k edges okay you want to exclude k edges from this complete graph and then whatever is left is your graph in how many ways can you do that so from your total number of possible edges which is n square minus n by 2 you have to exclude k edges and whatever is left that is your graph so this can be done in n square minus n by 2 c k what does this mean so from these n square minus n by 2 edges you are selecting k edges all right and then you are excluding those k edges you can do this in these many number of ways you can select k edges in these many number of ways and thus and then you can just throw them out and whatever is left is the graph that you need okay so you can do this in k ways in, in these many ways n square minus n by 2 choose k and what do you have to do you have to to count the number of graphs you need you have to ex you have to you can exclude you can exclude minimum zero edges in that case you will have the complete graph or you can exclude n edges in which they, they in, in which case the number of edges that will be left with you will be n square minus 3 n by 2 and you can do either of them so by the sum rule of counting you can do is you can add all these possibilities okay you can start from k is equal to 0 and you can go to n okay so what does k is equal to 0 means n square minus n by 2 c0 that means you don't exclude anything which is your complete graph then you do plus and then your k is 1 n square minus n by 2 c1 what does that mean you exclude one edge okay you exclude one edge and whatever is left is your graph and that can be done in n square minus n by 2 choose one ways and you keep on doing this up till you can include maximum number of edges okay you can ex exclude maximum number of edges and that is this n and that is the number of edges you are going to have this in this graph okay just a little point so we did it by excluding edges we can also do it by including edges you could have 
done by including edges you could have started choosing these many edges and keep on adding up till this point that will give the correct expression and it will give you the correct value but what happens is you don't find that in your options okay that is not in your options the options are given in such a way that the exclusion of edges give you the right answer all right so d is your correct answer which is this one okay